Welcome to a set of videos that explains how to do advanced tolerance stackup analysis in NX using a fantastic plugin called 3DCS. The stackup analysis or analyses that you can do with this software are truly amazing. You can take into account how parts come together, their tolerances, GD&T, etc., and you can really get a good feel of how things are going to happen or what you're going to see as you manufacture a product. In order to show you this, I'm going to start with a very simple assembly. The assembly is consistent, consists of a backbone, a bottom case, a bunch of screws that hold the bottom case to the backbone, a display right here, a gasket, that is on top of that display and then a top case, a very simple top case and a bunch of screws that hold the top case together and if you take a look you can see that there's a nice little uh, nice little reveal or a little uh, groove function that uh, holds everything together and, and holds it in place or, or aligns everything and in order to get the display uh, uh, pushed up against the top case and perfectly aligned. You've got these uh, these uh, uh, arms, if you will, or pedestals, I should say, uh, on the backbone. So the tolerances are, or the or the uh, the way the tolerances work and the way things fit together is you've got tolerances that go from the backbone to the uh, display got the gasket and then the uh, then the uh, top case fits on the uh, backbone uh, and is held by these little uh, pedestals and of course then you've got the screws and so the back uh, case doesn't really come into play um, because we're connecting everything to the backbone so what we care about um, for this analysis is the mismatch, if you will, between the between the active area in the display and the hole, the opening in the top case. And if we just take a look at the display alone, let's do this, let's take all these away, you can see that the display has an active area. And uh, what we care about is when um, a person who purchases his product looks into the top case or looks at the display, what we care about is all of these little, uh, uh, all of these ends or edges, I should say edges, um, look like they're in the right place. So uh, the very st first step in the process is to make an arrangement. We already have a default arrangement. Whenever you put parts together and assemble them in NX, you get a default arrangement. But the very first thing you've got to do in order to do the tolerance stackup analysis using 3DCS is to make an arrangement where the parts are separated. And so very quickly, we're going to go into the assemblies tab. And off the assemblies tab, there's the arrangements tab. And we're going to create a new arrangement by clicking on this button. And I'm going to call this Fully Open. That's the name of this new arrangement that I'm creating. And I'm going to hit the Use key. You've got to use it to activate it. So you should see this green check mark. Then you could do Move Component. You could also do Assembly Constraints and not really create the constraints. Just use that to do the move. But it's probably preferable to just go to Move Component. And here's a very, very important little uh, fine point and that is this little button right here has to be apply to used if you don't apply to used then as you create the new arrangement you'll be overwriting your other or your old arrangement so apply to use then you select a component for example I want to select these screws like this and I want to say specify orientation and I'll just pop them out like that and say apply. So that's now been 
applied to this fully open arrangement. Next I'll select the next component, specify orientation, I'm going to move that up like that, say apply, takes a little while, select the um, select the bottom screws, let's say, all of these, and specify orientation, move those down like that, say apply, as you can see the backbone was missing, I'm going to then select the bottom case, move that down like that, say apply, and take the gasket, put it up like this, of course apply, and then finally, I don't I think I'll leave the backbone in place because that's the one part that I don't want to I want everything to move to. Uh, and you'll see there's there's going to be some really significant things about that I just said. I'm going to move all of these up all in one fell swoop like this. I could do that like that. Say apply. And then um, finally, I think I'll take these two, move them down just a little, just a little bit like that. Okay. And there is my arrangement. So if you want to check that your arrangement is actually working, go back to arrangements and go back to the default and everything should come together like that. And then you go to fully open, anything opens up like that. So that's the first step in the process. We will need this in order to go into 3DCS and do what we call these moves. And that's going to be a very important portion. So that's the first step in the process of your tolerance stack up analysis, making an arrangement. And the key points to remember is that in arrangements, you could have many arrangements. And as you make them, you have to create new. You have to select new arrangement, give it a name, whatever it is, make sure it's use. You make a use there. And then you must, when you go into move components, you must remember apply to use. It's not the default. The default is use component properties. So you must uh, change this to apply to use and then you can start creating a new arrangement. Thank you for listening to this first little portion of the tolerance stackup analysis. The very next portion will show you how to start applying these 3DCS functions in order to do an amazing tolerance stack up analysis. Thank you. My name is Steve Samuel and I hope you've enjoyed this video.